You see him coming to land? That was pretty cool. Right, so today's plan, uh, and Gemma doesn't know about this, today's Valentine's Day of course. So the plan is, me and the kids are gonna go shopping after work, pick up some chocolates and cards for her and stuff like that. And when we pick her up and bring her home, we'll surprise her with a nice Valentine's meal on the table. Cause I don't normally do anything like that, any Valentine's Day things. So I thought this year, you know, we'll make a bit of an effort. I'll pull my finger out and uh, we'll see if we can't put a smile on her face. But first, before we go and get any Valentine's tackle, I need to obviously show you guys how I rolled that cone yesterday. And Fern Cotton's on Radio 2 today, so I need to tune that out. Okay, somebody asked in the comments yesterday, why don't I put the cone back on the roller to, uh, you know, shape it nicely. Well, number one, there's this big sprocket here. And if you look through, it don't fit past it. That centre hole is too small to actually fit on there. So I'm going to have to hand shape these, unfortunately. What I'm yet to do though is test it on one of these. So fingers crossed folks, that we get a kind of fit. Okay, let me hang over that side. I think we're going to be tight. It's going to want pulling about a little bit, I'm sure. But I think she will. I think she will. You can see it's, it's pushed out there by her. So once it's shaped, I think she'll fit really nicely. That wasn't planned. <laughs> that was probably a better idea actually. If I ram it down on the inside, I'll be able to see if it makes it into a nice shape. Well, we know if she gets stuck, then she's oversized for the internals and she's stuck. So that means if she's oversized, once it comes to the top, there should be a little bit extra hanging over to take up this 1.6 mil all the way around. Right then folks, now I've got the uh, three cone patterns rolled for the fermenters, which three fermenters. I've decided not to have such a steep walled cone for the boil kettle and the mash tun. So in this situation, we're gonna drop the height of the cones by 100 mil, meaning we have to cut out a slightly different template for these. Let's see what they turn out like. Just for reference, if you need any of the maths, there she be. These are the flatter cones, one for the mash tun, one for the boil kettle. So what I'm going to show you now is how I've been rolling them and there is literally no science behind this. Brute force and ignorant folks, I have to be careful not to get myself trapped in the machine and in order to do that I remove one glove. I know I'm handling the stainless but I've 
taken most of the burrs off of it. So what I've found seems to be working mildly is to get a front edge, one of these front edges, in the roller. It's actually harder with these than it was with the steep cones. And I turn the machine on, put a bend in it, take it out, wrestle it, put a bend in it. You'll see it's not it's not pretty. But let's let's have a look how she goes. Everything you said we already knew, more or less. Well here's something that you didn't know. Because it put very little in there. So this time round, I'm gonna get her in and we're gonna crank this back roll right up. Here we've put some coneage on that one side. Just have to flip it over and repeat it on the other. Now this is over bent, so at some stage I'm going to have to take this bend out. So we'll have to roll it slightly flatter. I told you there's no science to it. We're sort of 70% there. It was the same with that one. And then that one, a little bit more bashing about on this bottom edge here. But they will come round, they will come round. So I've got all the cones rolled, as good as I can roll them anyway. And uh, we've got them on the table, starting to get this one tacked up. You can see that actually they do come together on the ends. Bit tricky tacking them at first, but I can clean those tacks off once I get some really good ones on. And believe it or not, it is now three o'clock. So I have to go and get the kids and then we'll see if we can't do this cheeky little Valentine gig. Let's go. Right, I've drawn the curtains. I'm gonna quickly get changed and then shoot across to the school and pick the children up. Right, let's go. We'll come to a conclusion then, Kitty Winkles. Yep. So we're going to do Can I Lady and the Tramp. Yeah. Look. Hold it in front of your face, darling. There we go. So that's your Valentine's Day cookie for Mum. Yeah. And we're going to do Lady and the Tramp esque spaghetti and meatball. Yeah, we are going to watch it. You want to watch it as yeah. well? Okay, Which we'll do my that. My idea, by the way. My idea. And my I decided to watch it. And a bottle of Prosecco. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get in the car, kids. It's turned really windy outside. I just thought we're not going to walk around the supermarket with this cannon, so we're going to go incognito. With the GoPro. No, no, not the GoPro. We're going to go on the Samsung uh, Galaxy S5. We'll swap ah! over to the phone. Just like this. There we go. We're ready to get moving. Come on. Yep. Down the beer aisle. Yep. Pino, flowers, prosecco, and, and we're going to turn Gemma into a Labrini girl. <laughs> and this is the card I'm giving to Mummy. I also made one. So the kids have done better out of this than I have, haven't they? My Joe yep. got four cans of Stone IPA. Yeah. <laughs> hey, let's get stoned. Yeah. No, not like that. Right, Operation Valentine's Surprise. Dominic, your job is to tidy the living room. Say yes, sir. Abigail, your job is to set the table and put Say the flowers yes, in a vase. Uh, where is the flowers anyway? I'll oh, sort of behind you. Oh, okay. Go, 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 go. <laughs> it's a spicy meatball. Spaghetti's done, meatball's done. What, how long are going Candles, on? cards, flowers, wine glasses. Happy, Happy Valentine's. Valentine's. <laughs> oh my gosh! What? It was Dad's idea. Okay. 
Ah, oh, is this from all of you? I'll make my own card. Oh, thank you. Right, who's having some fizz? Only you. That's not your glass, that's Mum's glass. Mine. You're having that then. Oh. Dominic says that we have to do the Lady and the Tramp thing of, uh, of the spaghetti. I said the, the spaghetti, but also Dad. With who? You'll laugh at this car. Oh, it's a Dad. Look what I put at the bottom. Dear Dad, thank you for your etto for us. Get out. No, it's uh, And it was a. Uh, Dang it, I'm going to be gutted. Do for us and exclusively monitoring us. What? He don't say that! He's taking you 